You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, don't let your fear of the dentist keep you from having the smile you've always wanted. With us, we have Sacramento's dentist, Dr. Ludlow. Dr. Ludlow, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Randy. I'm happy to be here. Now, before we get into today's topic, and I know you brought some photos, so we'll get to as okay. many of those as we can, but uh, for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about your practice, who's your typical patient, and, and what are the different procedures that you do? Randy, we do it all. We're a general practice uh, dentist, dental office, and okay. um, the patients that we see, they come in for things as simple as fillings, uh, crowns. We also have a tendency to uh, see patients, teenagers that come in for fast braces and, and the wisdom teeth removal. But we also have a, a, a huge part of our practice they're, they're more fearful of the dentist. So they may come in for uh, an implant to replace a few teeth. They may come in for, um, uh, to have their, their full denture. So um, people that are really like dental, like, like a phobia about going to the dentist. That's exactly right. People that are really truly afraid, they come to us and we help take care of them. So they, they might come in and uh, we, we give them two, four, six implants to support their denture and they're very, very happy. And we, yeah, we also see patients that, uh, that have sleep apnea. That, okay. That uh, they didn't realize it. They'd come in, we, we, we get them sedated, they fall asleep, and they never knew it, uh, ever that they had uh, sleep apnea. And I we, mean, you also, I mean, have pe and we're going to have you back on the show to talk about this yeah. specific topic, but people that were on the C CPAP, is that right? That's correct. That are off. That's right. With, you know, maybe an appliance therapy or something like that. That's correct. Interesting. It just changes lives. It's incredible. Okay. So you do all the standard stuff, you, you do orthodontics. Uh, what about correct. like extractions, things like that? Yes, we do uh, wisdom teeth extractions. We do uh, uh, teeth that are broken down and we take those teeth out and do bone grafts and implants. And we do the full spectrum of, uh, of dentistry. Do you really feel like you're changing people's lives? That is the most, that's the best part of what we do is we really do change lives. And uh, that's what, it really makes us happy at the end of the day. You know, we, you know I should mention this. We, we talked on the phone yesterday, yeah. and people need to know that we're, what we're talking about, by the way, don't let your fear of the dentist keep you from having the smile you've always wanted, and we're with Dr. Ludlow. But on the phone yesterday, and I, and I loved what you said, um, because I said, well, let's talk about what, you, what your passion is. I mean, yeah. what you think is the most important. You said, I think I can help the, the, the people that are afraid of the dentist. If we get them in, yeah. those are the people we could transform their lives. So elaborate on that. Well, I think a lot of times people feel like their dental problems are worse than they really are. And so, you know, if they would come in right away, we could take care of things for less cost and, and really get them smiling right away and, and really changing their lives. Is, is fear of the dentist really, I mean, is it a big thing? Because I, I obviously don't hear about it. I never hear people are afraid of the dentist. You know, the, amazing, the statistics show that 50% of the population uh, don't go to the dentist at all. And, and, those, and I think that a big part of that has to do with fear. Okay. Um, but what we find is that, you know, maybe as a child, uh, something occurred in their, their treatment of getting their dental work done that, that, that created this phobia and it just kind of builds. And, um, so how do you get past that? Well, that's a good question. Um, what those, all those processes really change your physiology. So a lot of times people think it's just in their head. It's just all mentally they, they have this, this fear, but what we've discovered and and science has proven this, that it's deeper than that. It's physiologically. And so okay. what we do is we help retrain people to overcome that. And Don't you have people that were deathly afraid of the dentist? We had patients. And then now they're fine. Yes. We okay. had patients that you couldn't even put a mouth mirror inside their mouth to, to look at the teeth. They had to be sedated just to look at their teeth. Um, and now they come in and, and they, they can get their teeth clean. Maybe they still use a little nitrous and others have totally transitioned off of medication and now they just come in on routine visits. Okay, now we should talk a little bit about uh, the sedation you offer. Yes. Because I guess you offer everything and have special training even in, in, in IV sedation. Yes, we offer nitrous gas, which a lot of patients absolutely love. Matter of fact, you mentioned that you enjoy nitrous. Yeah, I got a cleaning recently, first time that, that I've ever had nitrous and I'm going, boy, this is fantastic. I was able to look at a TV on the ceiling. Do you have those, by the yeah, way? Yeah, we do have TVs. We call okay. that cartoon sedation for our kids. Oh, you do? In. Yeah. And that's, that's wonderful. It's like I figured out the world's problems, you know. You know you're in this nitrous, but then you come out of it right away, that's which right. is nice. You could drive home or Yeah, whatever. you can drive there, drive home, and pa patients really, really like that. Um, the next level of sedation, we call it twilight sedation. And, and it's just a little pill that people take, and they come in, and, and they kind of uh, they fall asleep, and 
they're kind of a little in and out, and they, they just are very, very comfortable with their sedation. Now, some dentists, I, look, I've interviewed some dentists. Yeah. I go, what are your thoughts on sedation? And, and, and they will tell me, I don't need sedation in my practice. Yeah. Or I don't need this. I can calm people. I yeah. have a knack for it. And I, and I felt like that might be ins insensitive. I think it's, a, it's completely... Well, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It's completely really? okay, insensitive. Good. Yeah, because, matter of fact, I was talking to another dentist the other day. It's funny you brought that up. And, uh, and he said, I can talk anybody through any procedure. And I, they just don't get it. They don't understand <laughs> that, uh, that this is physiologic. You know, this, is, this, this whole problem they're dealing with is not in their mind. And, and, um, and unfortunately, patients, yeah, they're, they're kind, they're nice, but they're dealing with real issues here. But even for people that aren't even afraid of the dentist. Like, I'm not afraid of the yeah. dentist. My son's not afraid of the dentist. But, yeah. boy, if you get that nitrous, it's very relaxing. That's right. Okay, so the next level up you have, you could give them a pill. Yes. Okay. And then uh, now, you, you have training in IV sedation. Yeah. Which, not a lot of dentists have this. Yeah, I'd say maybe less. Like than general than, dentist what? What's the? Maybe less than 2% of all general dentists have been right? trained in IV sedation. Okay. You and need a special license for you that? You need a special license, specialized training, and um, yet we have specialized monitors. We monitor um, you know, all the vitals that, that are, um, to help make sure we know that patient's okay. What about safety, so, though, with IV sedation? Yeah, IV sedation is actually safer than all the other forms of sedation because we can get somebody into uh, sedation very, very quickly, okay. and we can bring them out very, very quickly. And you don't have that lingering effect. Um, so it's different than anesthesia, that's like correct. in the hospital. That's correct. Okay. With anesthesia, you don't have control over your, your breathing. With IV sedation, you have control over your breathing. And, and because of it, you're able to, it wears off a lot faster. So okay. you, you feel more with it after. All right, now, uh, what are the different categories then? Okay, so we're talking about phobic patients. That's so right. what your fear of the dentist. What are the different categories of patients that, that take advantage of your uh, sedation program? Well, we have, you know, we have um, a few different categories of patients that come in. One, we have patients, like you were talking about, they come in and, and they're regular patients, but maybe they're stressed, they have high blood pressure, and we give them a little bit of nitrous and it just makes them, uh, their experience better and it's safer. Okay. Um, the next level is patients that um, they really have this phobia that's, that's going on and, and they couldn't come in the dentist if you didn't offer any sort of, of uh, any sort of sedation. Okay. So these patients are ones that, um, they're the ones we see the most dramatic effect from. They're okay. the ones that really, um, we see life altering changes. Like that, what, like what? Well, we have people that weren't smiling at all. They, their perception of their friends of them is that they were angry or they were always mad or very, very serious. We, we give them the smile of their dreams and all of a sudden they're able to smile. They were able okay. to get that job. They were able to get that promotion. And, um, and you know, now they're the life of the party. Whereas okay. before they were, there, that, uh, wa that wallflower. Do you see them change? I mean, you, you, you change their smile. You know, it's a bit of a cliche and you change their life, but do you see changes? We see amazing changes. Okay. And that's, what's, that's what really motivates us to do this. Because, you know, these patients, they, they are, are wonderful people, but they are very, very scared of the dentist. We first meet them, we'll tell them, one day you'll get to a point where you can come in here and feel comfortable, and they laugh at us. They say, there's no way, Dr. Little, I'll, I'll ever feel that way. And uh, it's always rewarding when we get to the point where we're finishing things up and they say, you know, remember when you told me about this, that this would happen? And uh, I said, yeah. And, and they would say, yeah, this, this is, um, I have a, matter of fact, I have a story right here. Uh, okay. Some patients here, I'll show it to you. This is a woman who wow. came into us in, in a lot of pain. Okay. And matter of fact, when you see her after picture, you won't even think she's the same person. Her after, you know, her, okay. It's, it's shocking. That's got to be unusual though. You know, to you it might be unusual, but to us, we see this all the time. You know, people hide their smiles. They, they aren't quick to, if they have a smile like that, they're going to they're gonna hide it. They're embarrassed. And, Interesting. and okay. they don't, you know, they're in pain and, and you might perceive them as, as angry or, or mean or just grumpy. But the fact is, is that they're just hiding their smile. Okay. So when she comes in, what are her goals? Just to get out of pain? Like she, she said she yeah, was in pain? She, she came in, she wanted to get out of pain, and she just wanted to be able to chew better. That was her whole goal. But we saw an opportunity here, and we, we, we presented her with some great options. And once again, when you see the after picture, she's not going to look like So she was person. afraid of the dentist. That Extremely was her problem. Extremely af afraid of the dentist, yeah. Okay. So she was afraid of the dentist, and then because of that, she never saw the dentist because of, of all of her pain. 
So it, it builds on each other. So uh, she, she came in, we, we looked at, and, and unfortunately, she, the number of options go down as you, the longer you wait. So I encourage anybody who has challenges to, to call soon. To get in early. Yeah, because we, we have more and better options. So what we did for her was we removed the uh, bad teeth and we replaced uh, her teeth with a, a beautiful smile makeover and, uh, and that was supported by implants. Okay, so now let's take a look at the after. Oh my goodness. Huge difference. Huge difference. Huge. Yeah. So she... Doesn't you, even look, you said it earlier. It doesn't look like the same person. You know, it's amazing what happens when people can start smiling again. She regained her confidence. You know, she started working out a little bit more. Um, there was some weight loss that occurred. She was able to overcome her, her pain. Um, and, you know, she got off the medications that made her, that gave her more energy. Now, when they look at themselves in the mirror for the first time and see this, what happens? You know, she gave us a... She was in tears. You know, she gave us a big hug, and that's where it's the most rewarding thing we ever do is when we get to introduce them to their new smile and their new, their new life, and it's incredible. And that's, that's why I love being a dentist right there. Um, as you look at her smile, you, you notice her smile fills her, the corners of her mouth. Okay. You yeah. notice her, her teeth will follow her lower lip line. And, and you also notice that, that with her smile, it supports her facial structure. So we, we see that as we support the smile, it also, it's, it's like a facelift. It's really incredible. Yeah, side by side, it, it really doesn't look like the, the, the same person. You know, and you look at it, this is, this is life changing. If she were to go to a job interview and she were able to be able to smile and um, versus before, maybe she doesn't smile you really see who would, who would they hire? Would they hire the person smiling or the one? That's a good point, right. You hire them with all things being equal. I guess the person that looks positive. That's right. Healthy, et cetera. Uh, very nice. Did, did they ever come back and tell you, uh, you know, I'm smiling more or? Well, you know, the amazing thing about this situation is, is that she really changed her life. And she, fi she found that um, she went back to school. She's now doing some job, job training programs. You say they lose weight? She, yeah, she, it's amazing. All of a sudden they can eat properly, you know? The body is able to digest foods better and they can eat healthier foods by having a healthy set of teeth. Was this, now in her case, what kind of sedation? If you don't mind. We use, you, yeah, we use IV sedation in her case. IV, now is it true that with IV sedation, right? They don't even remember the procedure sometimes? That's, is that true? You know, that sounds like an exaggeration. It does sound like an exaggeration, but that's the amazing part about it, is that, is that there's a little retro amnesia involved there. So they, just don't remember the experience. And they just, they wake up and it's all done. And like what have they ever said to you? Um, they remember kind of coming in and, and uh, as we wheel them in and, and set, get them set up and then they fall asleep. Do they say, it's done, is it done yet? Oh, oh that's yeah. it? Yeah, they, they still, yeah. They, that's, that's the amazing thing here. After a few hours of, of dental treatment, we're, we're working with them and they wake up and, and have you started yet? And Really? Oh, here we're all done. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's shocking. Do you get now, when, when a consult like this comes in, okay, yeah. and we're talking about don't let your fear of the dentist keep you from having the smile you've always wanted. We're talking to sedation dentist, uh, Dr. Ludlow. But when you come in, do you see that end result? Do you get a bit excited? Oh, I get really excited when I see patients like this because one, I know that not only can we help their teeth, but we can just change their whole life. And do you think, boy, this is going to be a good one? I mean, oh, what goes on in your head? Yeah, I really do. I, we, we, we talk to them, we get a good sense of where they're, where they're at, and, and we can set, tell really quickly whether they're going to be a good case or, or whether they're not. Okay. Now, we're talking a lot about the anxious, high-anxiety patients. Yeah. One of the things that, uh, uh, on the phone, that you mentioned that the type A personality or the CEO or the busy person That's can right. get a lot of work done under sedation. Yeah, I think, um, I think our, our... Elaborate on that. Yeah, our business executives actually love this because they're so busy. You know, they're, you know in, in our area, we've got uh, business executives flying overseas and, and they're just, you know, they, our economy, they're just on the go constantly. And so they actually look forward to the sedation because this is the day they can justify as a day off. <laughs> but they get everything done. <laughs> they they all, say that to you. They do. They say, you know, I look forward to it. I can relax this day. I wake up. I, I never get a better night's sleep than the night I do this. And this is great. So you could do you know, what would take maybe three visits to a dentist. That's right. All in one day. That's correct. Like three or four hours worth of work we, right there? You know, Randy, to be honest, we've had some cases that, that have required even longer where we've gone, you know, 12 hours at a time. Is that and, right? And that's safe. And it is. It Could is. anybody argue with what you're saying? They're saying that sedation, no, sedation, IV sedation is not safe? 
No, no. So IV sedation is very, very safe, especially when it's done the proper way. There are some people that don't use the proper monitors and they, they kind of cut corners. And that's where it, it cannot be uh, a good situation. Now, help me understand this because we had this discussion on the phone yeah. because I asked you about cost. It's less expensive for you because you're not bringing right. in somebody. That's correct. Is that right? That's correct. It's also less expensive to do sedation dentistry, period, because the longer you wait to do dentistry, that cavity doesn't get any smaller. It only grows and gets bigger. And so if you can, the sooner we take care of things, the less expensive it will be. Now, now men, do they tend to put things off even more? I mean, until we're yeah. actually in pain? They do. I don't want to go to the dentist. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you think of my teeth clean. Nobody that's right. wants to go, but you go and... Yeah, I think, I think men might be a, a, a bigger culprit than women, but I'll tell you, you know, once they find out that they can come in, get this thing taken care of, and have no memory of the experience, and have virtually no pain after, they love it. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Now, tell me about your training, by the way, briefly, yeah. because you do, like, uh, you know, people, uh, I guess, very difficult, complex cases. That's correct. With these fearful patients. Let's talk about, a little bit about your training briefly, and I want to see the other photos uh, after dental school. Yes. So I, I, I'm, I'm fortunate in the sense that, that I, I went to dental school at a great school um, and then I came and practiced with my father right after and, and he and a, a, a partner, they, they worked together for, you know, thir they both had 35. So your dad was a dentist? My, I grew up in dentistry. I'm guilty. You were always a dentist in your head. You know, to be honest with you, uh, <laughs> I, I was questioning that just purely because my dad was a dentist. I, but I, I kept on coming back to it because my passion for dentistry is, is there. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so, so, so like you're always uh, learning. I mean, you learn about dental implants. Uh, you do extractions. That's correct. That's correct. So, so my wife calls me a, a dental CE junkie because I'm constantly What's going CE? to a continuing okay, education. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. And so I'm constantly going to classes and doing training on implants, sedation, um, sleep apnea tre treatments, um, just always adding the latest, greatest uh, Is there really that technology. much to it? There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. Um, not everybody can do what, what we do. And, um, you know, it's, it's really, a, it's quite an art that... that uh, okay, good. Do. Good. What other photos? What are we looking at here? This guy is a, is a great guy. Uh, and uh, but he was very very fearful of the dentist. He thought his case was a whole lot worse than than what we thought. And then when we saw him, when he came in, he he wouldn't smile. Um, he would see uh, darkness on his teeth, and he'd see cavities. He, he was afraid that he was going to lose his teeth. Um, fortunately, he came in in time. Like how afraid? So afraid so much that it was 20 years that he'd seen the, his last dental visit. So, wow. So that's a long time to stay away from the dentist. And I think what happens is is that we believe that that as the time increases, they, they feel like it's gonna get worse and worse to tell the point that they're gonna lose all of their teeth. Now in his case, we didn't have to, there were a few teeth that we lost, that he lost, um, that we were able to replace with Im dental implants. But we were able to uh, restore his teeth with beautiful veneers and, and all of a sudden, he doesn't stop smiling. And Very so nice. He, re he told me, he's like, you know, people at work tell me that I'm, I'm happier, I look younger. <laughs> he doesn't look younger. And he's a, he's a great guy, he always tell, you know, he tells jokes, but because he wasn't able to freely smile before, um, people, I, I think, took him, he thought, they thought he was a little more serious than he really was. So that's, that's the interesting thing. That did, did they say I should have done this years ago? Yes. When did you hear that? Yeah, he said, you know, I should have done this a lot. It was a lot easier than he thought it was going to be, and he should have done it years ago. So in Sacramento, okay, I mean, it's yeah. a big place. You're in Folsom. That's right. Would you say there's hundreds, thousands of people that hate their smile, walking around looking like they're mad or angry? That's correct. When, in I, fact, they're hiding their smile, according to you? I would say even more than that, Randy. Really? I would say tens of thousands. And, of the, and they're just afraid of the dentist. They're just afraid, and they don't it's know where to go. It's not the money? You know what? I, I mean, it can be, but it I mean. It could be. But there's a lot of people that have the money. That's right. That do nothing. Is that true? That is that is very true, and it's and really they don't know where to go, and they don't know who to who they who can handle their situation, and the other thing that there a lot of them are embarrassed. These are successful people. Okay, good point. And they're just embarrassed to to um, to go to anybody. So you don't guilt trip them when they're there. Absolutely. How come you didn't brush and floss? That's right. There's no guilt trips. We we understand that the past is the past, and we just move forward and we give them options that they can they can move on and act on. That's great. Okay, so time for a few more photos. What are we looking yeah, at? Yeah. So um, here's a situation of a of a gentleman that um, that came in. So he looks like he has no teeth. That's correct. On the front. So he does, and he actually has roots. They've just decayed down. They've gotten really short, and, and they're, they're rather unsightly. Um, with him, you know, he comes in fearing the worst, 
And you'll, you'll love to see his after, Randy, because he doesn't look like the same person. He looks a lot younger. Yeah. Um, but what he came in one day, we, we took care of his teeth. He, you know, we put him to sleep with IV sedation. Um, he wakes up, he looks at the smile, and he can't believe that's, his, that's himself looking back at him at the mirror. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a tough guy in the, in the before, and afterwards he looks like, uh, I'm looking at him, he looks like some successful musician or something. You know, it's it's right. amazing how you associate that's right. things with other things, you know? Uh, very good. Yeah, it, it really changed his personality. Before, um, he wouldn't smile at all. We had to, once again, we had to force him to, to get the first picture. Um, we had to, and what we find is, and this is really interesting, Randy, is when we t ask patients to smile for us, when the before shot, their smile is very, very small. When we're done, their smile, you'll notice the smile is even wider on the after picture yes. than it is on the other. It's just, it just um, people feel more comfortable smiling. It's more natural to smile. All right, And All so right. It, it comes out. So what else do you have? Um, we are uh, short on time here. Here's, here's a woman, Randy, who's really afraid of the dentist. She comes in, um, she had a few teeth that were wobbling on the bottom, and she was really fearful. So that was a denture, you're saying on top? That's right. Okay. So what we ended up doing was we um, ended up giving her the smile that she always wanted. You know, you can barely see her smile in the first picture, and once again, you see how her smile's fuller on the, on the, <laughs> on the top, and, and she's, she, she was really surprised. So what is that now? I mean, on the after, what is that? So she has um, a, a beautiful cosmetic denture on the upper, okay. and on the bottom she has uh, implants that are supporting her, her teeth down below, so now she can chew food. Before, she wasn't able to chew at all. So okay. she was really, uh, really surprised, and she's, she, the next day I called her, or that night I called her, and I said, how are you feeling? And she said, she said, I can't believe that I waited this long. I thought it was gonna be so much pain, and, and I thought it was gonna be such a big process, and it was so much better than I thought, and I wish should have done this years ago. Okay, good, good. Um, here, here's a, a patient also that would, um, she has a pretty good smile before, um, but what's, what you don't see are the, the cavities, you, see, you don't see the, the teeth that are broken down that's, um, that, that she's hiding in the back. And, and with sedation, it gave her the confidence that, and the trust that we could fix everything in just a short time frame. Matter of fact, she, she told me that if it wasn't for sedation, she would not have gone forward and, and done her smile. Do you get a lot of referrals because of sedation? We Where do. they tell their friends? We do. And, you know, it's just, it's contagious. People notice that you're smiling more and, and, and people pick up on that. And, uh, and you know, maybe they're, they're now more apt to go out and be more social. They golf a little bit more. They're, they're out playing cards. They're a little more social. How and important is the smile in your opinion? I mean, you're a dentist. You know, I, My guess is you're gonna think it's the most important thing. I, I have to tell you, I'm pretty biased in this. Okay. But, uh, but the studies have shown that, that a smile is very, very important. Um, the, the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry did a study you know, on a smile. And um, they would said that they, that they noticed that 96% uh, of people, when they ask it, the question, what attracts you to somebody else, it's, it's their smile that okay. they, they mention first. But in addition to that, I, I have to tell you that uh, we see patients that, that with their smile changing, their life change. And so- Like what? Like, uh, it's one patient, she, a sedation patient, she came in, um, she wouldn't smile. She was very conscientious of her smile. And uh, so we, with sedation, we, we, and she was also fearful as well. So we put her to sleep, took care of her, her dental work, and you know, she retired early she got, you know, she ended up um, feeling better about herself. She said that when she would go to a party before, she would be the one kind of behind the group. And now that she was able to smile comfortably, she was now the person greeting the other people in the, in the, in the group. And so she, she ended up retiring early. She, uh, she now, she and her husband travel around the country doing her dream job. And she, she lost weight. She looks like a totally different person. It's amazing. So we're just about out of time. Okay. And you know, I'm sure you know, driving over here, uh, you were thinking probably, I want to make sure I get this message across. Is there anything that you haven't said that you wanted to say? That's well, I, I appreciate you giving me that opportunity because it's never too late, Randy. And okay. I, I think that's the, that's the the message I want to drive home is that these patients they can have. Um, their lives back. They don't have to be in pain. They don't have to be uncomfortable. We can give them their self-confidence back. Good. And that's what's the most amazing thing about this process. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. So if they want to make an appointment, they get to see you. That's Is right. that right? That's right. And you don't seem like a, a scary guy. Well, I, I try not to be. <laughs> I mean, do you hear though, hey, no offense, doctor, but I can't stand the dentist? We hear that all the time. 
And they come back for that when they, they say that? They, they do, they do. I, and and I, it's one of those things that um, we don't take it personally because we know where this, where this fear is coming from. And we, we love to change lives and we just invite everybody to, to give us a call if you're interested and we can do a free consultation. Do you look at it as a challenge where they, they say, hey, I don't like the dentist, where you know that you're going to change their mind about the whole thing? Well, it's funny because I always will plant the thought and I'll, and I'll let them know. i say, you know, you know, in the future, you're going to come to a point where you're going to look back and say, I can finally come to the dentist without being, without my heart racing. I can finally come into the dentist or pass by the dentist without my hands <laughs> getting, getting sweaty. And um, you'll, you'll feel confident about coming to the dentist again. And that's what's really powerful. Now, most people that are fearful don't believe me when I tell them this. And it's, it's so rewarding to see that and, and see them finally eating the foods they want to eat again and, and, and smiling the way they used to smile when they were younger. And uh, it's just really rewarding for us to good, see that. Good, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Great, great info, great info. And, and these photos are also on your website yes. as well? Yes. Okay, good. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Don't let your fear of the dentist keep you from having the smile you've always wanted. If you'd like to see this interview again, you can go to our website at wellnesshour.com and just put in Dr. Ludlow. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.